Hi guys, happy Sunday. Welcome to the end of the week. I hope you had a great week and yeah, it might've been a little challenging, but overall I think it was really exciting and I think there's a lot of good things on the horizon. Right now it's just a really pivotal time for all of us. The universe is really pressing us to lean into the lessons that it's throwing at us and it's throwing at us a lot. And in the last couple of years, there's been a lot thrown at us. But again, I, I, I really do believe that we came in here during this lifetime for these specific reasons, but also we wouldn't be going through it if we couldn't handle it. And we weren't supposed to be the ones to do it. So with that, you know, let's go into the daily tarot reading. And Sunday, August 28th, 2022, we have two plus eight is 10, right? Yeah, and 10 reduces to one, and one is the number for the new, for one is the number for new beginnings and the new magician. My words, wow, Mercury Retrograde is really creeping up on me. I can feel it. Um, what's going on? Okay, it's the number for new beginnings, standing in your power, being authentic, you know, making your own path, seeing your success and going after it and really just being the magician. It's as above, so below. And today we have strength. I love that, especially after yesterday with that devil, right? Where we really were being pushed to tap into our higher self, really listen to our intuition, overcome the thoughts that are popping up and not allow that devil to really take us away from our peace, but remind ourselves that we are in control and that when we're tapped into the power that's within us, we can, you know, brave the storm. We can be the calm waters that we need in times of maybe chaos or confusion, right? When we take a step back and we look at where we're going, we can really become more confident in who we are and stand stronger in our strength and our peace. And so I love this because I feel like the last couple of days we've we've talked about the number eight's been brought up. So pay attention to 888's coming up this week, next week, in the coming weeks. It's going to be this reminder to breathe, be calm. Everything's happening the way it's supposed to. There's abundance everywhere, but there's a lesson that we got to learn before we get there first. Um, and again, we see another major arcana card today. So there's these all these lessons coming at us and we're learning them quickly. We're picking up on them quickly and we're allowing ourselves to be a part of the journey instead of just like watching the journey unfold. It's kind of two different parts there. And I love that. Heidi comes up to, comes up to be a part of this reading right now. That's kind of how I, um, I used to have um, another dog named Maggie and one time I let her pull a card and I, let, I was playing with my cards and she was just all in my business. And so I, I do this with Heidi too sometimes. I just let, let her see what she wants to pick. And she pulled this card and it always makes me think of her. So the fact that Heidi stepped stepped in during this time, um, I'm just, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little synchronicity right now. Um, but I digress. We have this angel standing here above this lion and it's like this, this union, an acceptance and understanding of each side right, of understanding the angel, understanding the higher self, understanding that when we're connected to that part that we're infinite and we can create what we see for ourselves. And that when we are in friendship in, what's the word I wanna, what's the word I wanna use? In friendship, but like when we, when we are not angry at our ego or shameful of our ego or guilty or feel guilt over our ego, that we can come together in union and really move forward, right? Where we can calm that ego that doesn't feel like it needs to protect, that doesn't make us feel like we need to hide, that we can tell our ego that, hey, I got it. I know we don't know where we're going, but we are safe and we are secure because we're listening to what we want. We're listening to who we are. We're allowing our truth to come out and for us to stand in our power. And when we do that, you know, that again, that solar plexus chakra gets activated and we're really using, we're start, we're, we're activating a pace of power instead of, you know, maybe what's the word I'm looking for, maybe defeat or maybe unsure or confusion, right? We're, we're standing stronger in who we are now. And I love that. Uh, again, strength is eight. So eight is the number for confidence, for power, for strength, for, you know, manifestation and money and all these good things are coming to us when we calm that doubt that was, you know, popping up in our minds, right? And I feel like that's been a theme these past couple weeks. And I keep going back to that Queen of Swords last week because I feel like that's where it started, where she was like, this is the direction that we need to go on. And I'm taking you down that road, okay? 
Um, because at the bottom here, we have the Ace of Swords. So I love that. And, you know, ideas, inspiration, they're coming to us from the divine, from our higher self, from our angels and our guides. So be open, be receptive, and be ready for these things to come in because they're coming in to make us stronger. They're coming in to show us how much power we have to really align us with the future we see for ourselves and that's not going to come without any other challenges or any other you know another journey life is a continuation of cycles and journey and we just keep moving forward right but this one is you know one with a lot more peace than it was before and we can really allow you know these seeds that we've been planting to grow and so i'm really excited about this sunday sunday's a great day it's a great day to fill up your reservoir take a second you know allow your power to really come forward stand outside allow the sun to hit your space it just revel in all of the excitement and the joy that's coming in and that you're really aligning yourself with where you want to go with your purpose with you know, your life's purpose. And when we allow our creativity and our inspiration to have space in our lives, how we can align with so much more. So I love that. I love you guys. Oh, this is like so weird. This is like next week will be the last week on my, in front of my wall. Um, but you know, new beginnings are, are happening for everybody. And this is just another one. So thank you for being a part of my journey too. Um, it'll look a little bit different for the next couple weeks, but I'm excited to see where it goes. Um, so I love you guys. I hope you have a great Sunday. If you'd like to know more about me, what I have going on, uh, you can book a tarot reading. You can go to ashleyrose.com. Follow me on Instagram as well. That's Ashley Rose Tarot. The links are in the description and I'll see you tomorrow for the daily tarot reading.